everyone! I was obviously not planning on filming today. I slept on some makeup in about five minutes and I'm in my bumming around the house clothes. I have on my lovely Alabama tank top, real tied. But I needed to get my project pan update up. So, excuse my appearance. I figured y'all wouldn't mind as long as you had the update. And I didn't want to just wait until next week to get the update up. Oh, and if you don't know what a project pan is, I'll go ahead and link my playlist for this project pan down in the description box. And in my first video, I'll explain everything. So if you're new to the project panning community, welcome. And I'll link my playlist and I explain how I'm doing this project. But as of my last video, I had finished up three products. I finished my Monistat Chafing Relief Powder Gel that I was using as my primer, the Pink Sugar Perfume Sample, and the Escada Joyful Perfume Sample. So that left me with six products. Well, as of this update, I finished three more products. Yay! So first up, I finished my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation in the shade Bare Linen 03. I'm so glad this is done. I cannot stand this foundation. Like, and I saw where Ulta is now selling a kit where you can get this foundation, the brush, and I think a powder, like all in a set together. Probably because they weren't selling the foundation by itself, so they had to put it in a kit. This is awful. Like, I have oily skin, and I realize that, you know, it's a brightening serum foundation. But, I mean, it felt like rubbing pure oil on my face. That's the first time I've said that word right. Oil. It don't sound right, like it don't feel right coming out, but oil. No, it felt like putting straight up oil on my face. But... I got through. I don't think this was exactly the right shade match for me, but it definitely oxidized. I mean, there were times that it looked straight up orange. No, I would not recommend that. Maybe for super dry skin I could see that, but I think it's going to be really tricky to find a color match. I know they have a pretty decent shade range for that, but no, oily skin, would not recommend at all. Next up, I have this clean, warm cotton perfume sample. No, this is awful. Like, I'm sorry if you like this, but I don't understand why you would want to smell like straight up laundry. Like, that's what this smelled like. It smelled like warm laundry straight out of the dryer. No, I would not repurchase this. And an exciting empty is my Clinique Long Last Glosswear Lip Gloss in Stellar Plum. I know it looks like there's more in there, but I really cannot scrape much more out of there. And the wand doesn't reach all the way in the bottom. I really don't love this lip gloss, so I'm not, I'm not that worried about it. So, three more products down. That makes a total of six, so that means I have four more products to go. We will start with my Wet n Wild lipstick in Don't Blink Pink, and that's what I'm wearing today. It's very fluorescent, but I'm loving it for spring and summer. And I know I had said in my intro that I was just I was over these matte lipsticks from Wet n Wild, like I was not gonna buy any more. As I've been wearing this more, I realize they're not that bad. Maybe you have to just get through like that initial top layer of lipstick. I mean, they still feel dry and they still tug going on the lips. But once they're actually on the lips, I guess they just warm up like with my body temperature. But I mean, they don't feel dry. Like, I mean, I can rub my lips together. So I have to apologize for my hate on these. But. Here is my progress. That top line is where I started. And for the first couple of updates, I really didn't use this. I may have, may have used it once or twice. 
but that bottom line is where I am now. So I'm almost done with this lipstick. And like I said, like it won't it won't twist up. So I mean once I get down to where it's scratching my lips to put it on, that's it. Which is fine. I mean these are cheapy lipsticks. I love this color, but I mean I do have other like really, really hot pink lipsticks, so it's not that big of a deal and it was it was cheap. I mean if it was like you know, like my lipstick queen lipstick or something, yeah. I mean, I would be digging that sucker out with a brush, but no. This is like $2 lipstick, so not that worried about it. Next up, I have my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in War. And I don't even bother marking the lid this time because you can't see my other two marks. But that is all I have left. I have a little baby nubbin. <laughs> And I think if I'd worn makeup, you know, a couple more times the past two weeks, I probably could have gotten this done. But, that is it. These are not my favorite eyeliners. I won't repurchase them. Okay, next up I have my Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner in, in the Nude. And on my last video, I had so many ladies comment on ways for me to use this up. And I have to say thank you to all of you. They were all amazing suggestions. And turns out I have been using it as a base. And it's actually pretty decent for that. I've said before I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is more of an oily primer. So I can get away with putting this on my lid because this is pretty dry. Like these are really dry eyeliners. Maybe that's part of them being waterproof. I don't know. Um, a couple people suggested, you know, putting it under my eyebrow, you know, as a more defined eyebrow and eyebrow highlight. It was too dark for that, but I did try it. I tried it a couple of times as an inner, <laughs> I tried it a couple of times as an inner corner highlight. That was okay. I don't typically go for like right here inner corner highlights I don't know I just that's never been a big thing for me I don't know but I have really been enjoying it on my lid so bam that's all I have left so there are my lines that was first update last week's update last week the last update and right there is where we are now so I am so close to being done. This is like a couple more weeks worth of use and this bad boy will be gone. So then I'll have to find, well no, then I need to get through some other eyeliner to wear on my waterline. And then I need to find something else. Like another nude pencil for my waterline. Okay, and last but not least, the darn Cormex. So. Hello. Hey. Hey. What you doing? Filming. Oh. My lighting's probably completely off now. Almost an hour and a half later, talking to my mom on the phone. I'm gonna finish up this video. <laughs> so my last product is this. This darn at Carmex lip balm. So, top line is where I started. Purple line was my last update. And the black line is where I am now. I turn this on. Does that help? Probably not really. So, I mean, I've made progress. This thing is so messy. Like, every time I like, I squeeze it to get product out. Too much comes out. When you put the lid on, most of the time, when you put the lid on, squeezy products, you know, that keeps product from coming out. No. Like, any pressure that gets put on this, product comes up out of the edges and it's just a big old mess. So, I mean, I'm going to use it up and I have a couple more of these, but after that, I'm not buying squeezy tube lip balm anymore. So, by my next update, 
I should have the lipstick finished up. Probably going to just end up wearing this every day. Because I don't think this will really take that long. I don't have that much left. This little nubbin. Oh. That will be gone in just a couple of days. And then this. I mean, if I made that much progress in the last two weeks, I mean, I can get this sucker gone. So, if I get these three done by my next update, I'm just going to go ahead and end the project pan here. Because I'm not going to keep on with the project for this lip balm. Because I've also got Pan That Palette. Finish 6 by Summer, Finish 4 by the 4th, and then I've already started thinking about what items I want to do next for my next project pan, and I don't want to keep putting off you starting that project just for a lip balm that is really, I mean, I'm going to use it up. It's not that big of a deal. And then... By, who knows? I'm sure there will be a fall project coming up. I thought about not doing Finish 9 by New Year's. I knew last, last year there was a Finish 6 by Christmas. And I know some people are doing the 12 empties of Christmas that Jenko empty started on Instagram. So there's that one. I kind of debated on doing that one. And I mean, I still have time. I may start that one. When I get done with finish 4 by the 4th. And that will still give me 6 months almost. But at some point I was thinking about doing finish 9 by New Year's. And I may be the only one doing that. But that's okay. I haven't even decided when I want to start doing that one. I may start that one after finish 4 by the 4th. And have 9 full size products. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you were doing a project pan, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to come watch. Subscribe. I'd love to have you. And if you want to stick around after this, I filmed, or I'm going to just include a, an announcement, kind of, sort of, a decision that I've made changes happening that sort of thing if you want to watch that you can if not thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time bye this is kind of off topic but i've made the decision to go cruelty free i made a brief mention of it in my mother's day vlog which will be posted after this but i made the decision to go cruelty free I mean, I don't want to make a separate video about it because I know it's a very controversial topic. If you want to ask me questions, if you want to see a video about it, you know, if somebody wants to see it, I'll do it. But I, this past weekend, went through my entire makeup collection to see what was cruelty free and what wasn't. 90% of my makeup collection was not cruelty free. So, I got rid of about 80 to 85 percent of my makeup collection. I didn't throw it out. I took it to my Gigi's house this past weekend and gave it to my mom and my aunt and my Gigi and let them go through it. They had the absolute best time getting all this new makeup. And so, it did not go to waste. They are tickled pink about having all this new stuff to play with, all these new goodies. And, yes, I could have gone on ahead and just used everything up, but I've been wanting to do a declutter anyways. You know, that's another part of this whole project panning thing. And, I just, I wanted the items just out of my collection. I did keep some things that are not cruelty free. And you'll see those in the upcoming projects that I do and everything that I did want to use up because either they were really expensive and I wanted to get my money's worth 
or you know I really did enjoy them and before I stopped using them I wanted to you know use up what I had so I mean nothing's gonna change on my channel except for some brands I won't be buying anymore but I'll be buying a lot more of new brands so if you're cruelty free also let me know your favorite brands down in the comments this kind of gives me a reason to shop but I'm not going like buck wild shopping or anything I did have to go buy some new lippies because <laughs> after I cleared out everything I had about five like lip products total left over so I need to go buy some new lippies and I will have a haul coming up. I need to film that. I guess I'll film that next week. But I know this is very controversial. I mean, I don't want this to keep people from watching my channel. Like, I'm not going to sit here and preach, you know, you need to be cruelty free. You don't need to use these products because they're not cruelty free. That your decision is your decision. My decision is my decision. I still want to see all the new products that are coming out from all the brands. I'm still going to watch everybody that I watch now. I'm still going to watch hauls. Like, nothing is changing. You know, I, I respect everybody's decision to use the products they want. And I still want to see what products are coming out from all, all the brands. So, don't think this is me trying to preach because it's not that's not what this is about this is just a personal decision and don't think that this happened overnight because it didn't this is something that I've had in my mind for a long time and I just something just told me one day you know if if you are a Christian then you know then, you know, I feel like, you know, God was saying, you know, God helped me make this decision. If you're not a Christian, well then, intuition, karma, my conscience, something told me to make this decision. So, I'll put this at the end of the video, so, you know, if you want to watch the update, you can watch the update. You don't have to sit through this before I get through the rest of the products. I didn't mean to go on this little tangent, but I mean, hey, since I did, I'll put it in the video. Like I said, if you want a separate video, then I can do that. And there's different extents to cruelty free. You know, if you want to ask me about that, I mean, you can ask me down in the comments. You can request a video and I can do that. I just, I didn't want to put out a separate video because I didn't want it to seem like I was preaching and like I was judging other people for using the products that they do. That's absolutely not true. This is everybody's decision and this is just something I feel strongly about. Everybody has something that they feel strongly about and what you, you know, may feel passionate about may not be that big of a deal to me so we all have something you know I everybody has a passion so if you made it this far thank you I hope this does not turn anybody away from my channel because I don't want that at all you know I still want this to be you know a happy fun loving place I have the best time filming videos. I love YouTube. I'm so glad that I made the decision to do this. Like, this is an absolute dream job to get to do this. And I love all the people that I've met through it. I love how supportive the community is. So, I feel like I'll have support from all of my friends here on YouTube. But I hope that, you know, I've gotten quite a few new subscribers recently and I just hope that this doesn't turn those people off before they've gotten a chance to know me 
or people that are just coming to my channel. I hope this doesn't turn them off from subscribing because I'd love to have you. I don't judge. Who am I to judge? So, anyways, if you've made it this far, I love you. Thank you so much. And I just, I mean, things are not going to change with my channel. Except for some brands, you won't, I'll slowly be phasing out. But I'll be bringing in a lot of new brands. So, that's the only thing that's going to change. So, 